Well, it seems like they've been coming out with a new AI tool every single day lately. And that's why I wanted to go ahead and make this video of these photo editing tools that I've actually been using quite a bit lately. And all of these are free and I've got them all bookmarked on my bookmarks bar at the top of my browser. And the one I'm gonna start off with is one I've been using quite a bit. And that's the magic eraser where you can actually remove an object from an image and it's really easy to use as well. You just have to go to magicstudio.com slash magic eraser and then upload the image with the object that you would like to erase. We're gonna use this one with a sports car. And it's really as simple as just dragging the cursor over the object of the image. And just like that, then click erase. And there you go. The sports car is gone. And I've actually been using this quite a bit to remove brand logos from uh, clothing and hats and some, and some of my photos before I post them to social media. But then once you remove the object, all you have to do is click download. And if you'd like to download a high quality image, you will have to pay. Uh, but if you just scroll down, you can click on download at a low resolution. And it's really not that low of a resolution. So depending on what you would be using this for, you know, that should be plenty for you. And also, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to go ahead and do that now if you want to stay up to date with all of the latest AI tools and tech that's been coming out lately. Um, I've been using it quite a bit, and that's why I made this YouTube channel, uh, just, just to share what I have been learning. All right, this next AI tool will actually remove the background from your images. And I've been using this to make profile photos. Um, currently, the profile photo I have on this YouTube channel was made using this tool. Um, but we're actually going to go ahead and use the same sports car photo as last time. And if you want to use this tool, you just have to go to removal.ai, then just choose the photo that you would like to upload. And just like that, the background is removed. And just like the last tool, if you'd like to download a high quality resolution image, uh, you will have to pay for that, but um, you can download the lower resolution for free, which that's worked well for me. All right, next on the list is this AI image enlarger and enhancer. And the website for this is imglarger.com. And this website is perfect if you have a photo that you took from the early 2000s when we were still using the flip phone cameras. And just for an example, I have this one right here of me climbing a mountain in Colorado. Obviously, it's a really small photo and it'd be nice to go ahead and enlarge it. And that way we can actually see what's in the photo. <laughs> all right. So all you have to do, like the last one, is just upload your photo and you can either log in or create a free account. And with this website on the free plan, you get eight free credits every single month. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign up for that one. And then once you're logged in, again, we'll just go ahead and drag that photo back over here to upload it. All right, and then once you get the image uploaded, um, you can just select if you would like to enlarge it two times or four times. And we'll go with the four X there and click start. All right, and it's finished. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, that's not too bad. Definitely a much larger image than what we started with. All right, and just for comparison, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the original photo right over here and go ahead and zoom in on this one. And wow, as you can tell, um, after I zoomed in on the original, it is much more blurry than what the AI image tool did for us there. So I'm definitely going to be using this tool again. And let's go and move on to the next one now. All right. The last one here is the classic Dolly. And we're actually going to use Dolly this time to create a anonymous uh, profile photo. And I'm just going to upload a profile photo. This is one that I currently have on, on my YouTube channel and click crop generate variations and let's see what dolly comes up with <laughs> all right so those are some unique variations there and you know there are many different reasons why you might want to use this tool 
But um, for example, you could use this for, <laughs> all right. And there are some unique variations there. So if for some reason you wanted to create some unanimous uh, profile photos for whatever reason, uh, Dolly would be a great tool for that. So I know this was a quick video and I was just wanted to quickly show y'all some um, AI image editing tools out there that y'all can go ahead and bookmark and hopefully help you out with some image editing in the future. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that now. I'll be coming out with some more videos very soon.